If she didn't have a high school degree, her poverty rate is over 60%. If she has a college degree, her poverty rate is 14%. Very different. So the whole, show your kids that education is important. Didn't work with mine. So, so that's kind of, you know, putting some of the things out there. Now we've got what's going on. We've got this thing called Detroit Future City, which just came out. They just had a press conference the 9th of January. Um, hopefully things will start to ratchet up. We're hoping to be part of the, the process to get all the information and start to put it out there for the public to use. To also to work with those who, people who are going to try to propose projects. They want to do development. They want to get involved. We're going to supply the information and help kind of drive what is going on in the city. How do we start to measure those kinds of outcomes? It, it's a framework. Man. It's, one, it's great work. If you got the 347 page book, it's impossible. <laughs> it's impossible to read. It's in about seven point font. You know, it's like it's horrible. It's horrible. And even going to the web. It's like, um, but anyway, it's a lot of good stuff there. There's a lot of good work. It's just kind of saying these are the kinds of things we can do. If we get all at least get behind us and try to do it together in a coordinated fashion. But there's a lot of fear out there that it's that it's going to disenfranchise people, that it's been kind of set up to clean out neighborhoods, to welcome new people and get rid of old folks. You know, we don't, you know, neighborhoods, we don't really care about neighborhoods, we don't care about people, we want to just kind of wipe those out and we really want to concentrate on those good neighborhoods. That's not necessarily true, it's like, one of those things that you got to get engaged, you got to get involved in it. There's a lot of opportunities out there, and I think all this is about engagement because this is not something I want to talk about, but it, it, this is just kind of serious projects that are going. The other thing that's going to be coming up, and I think is critical, and I think for this group as much as anybody, the first thing was the Detroit Future City. Understand it. Don't, you know, I, I try to to caution people, and I'm, I'm cynical, I'm just, I admit after all these years I'm very cynical, but I think this is probably the best amount of work that's ever been done in any city. We are at a point that we've got to figure out something, we've got to do something, we've got to at least make this thing, or try to make this thing work. We have a framework, it's no, nothing is being dictated, but it's saying these are the kinds of options we have, how do we start to, to work with those, how do we start to collectively get involved in those, and so I really, I really say get involved in the Detroit Future City work as it's going, try to understand what's going on, go to meetings, see how you can get engaged, and it's a lot of different things that are involved in that. The other thing is this um, city council, and if, if you were around last year when they were debating it, Data Driven Detroit came out with option five. There were four options that the city put out there. We came up with option five, and it was funny because we had just worked with Vince Keenan and a number of people to kind of try to build council districts out of neighborhoods, try to keep neighborhoods whole and try to make some sensible way. And we had just been um, kind of doing it for our own interest and because we believed it, but we weren't promoting it. And I was driving home one night and I get a call from some reporter who said, I'm in southwest Detroit. There's a meeting about city council districts. They put the four districts up on the, on the board, and the audience is all asking for District 5, or the council, you know, the Plan 5, and people were, had Plan 5 in the, that they were holding on and trying to ask, why aren't we looking at this? Obviously, nobody wanted to go with Plan 5 in terms of the administration, so they came up with this thing, which is the seven council districts. For the first time, whoops, for the first time since 1918, we're gonna have council districts. So you get, you're going to have seven people elected from districts and two people elected at large. There is an opportunity for people to get really engaged around electing people who represent them, getting a whole different group of people to actually run, where you don't have to have just name recognition citywide and a lot of money. You can really start to energize a neighborhood, really work at the neighborhood level, there's going to be a lot of effort to get nonprofits and other organizations out there beating the drums and really get people engaged in this. I think this is really has an opportunity, depending on what happens to the city government and, and uh, 
bankruptcy and things like that. But this really has an opportunity to change a lot of the dialogue, to really get the city engaged. And so I, um, I think this is going to be a pivotal year. And, and I really encourage you to figure out what's going on politically. We're going to be putting more and more and more information out there and getting very engaged ourselves and trying to get people the information they need to, to um, make the runs and, and to, to push for this. So I just uh, encourage you.